Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. The reason why we're here today, guys, is to discuss how do we create this flip text effect with an Adobe Illustrator? A really simple effect to apply, uh, but very, very powerful, aesthetically speaking. And what I want to do today is show you the step-by-step -step process of how to create such an effect. Okay, so on another tab i have a brand new artboard for me to create the first thing i'd like to do is obviously create our letter so i'm going to use our type tool situated here and i'm going to come through and apply the letter b you can obviously apply any letters that you want i'm just going to stick with the letter b today i'm not a fan of this current font that we're using so i'm going to come up here with it selected and i'm probably going to use coco goose a font that I've downloaded from that font. Okay, so I need to currently create a duplicate of this letter. So using the shortcut option on Mac or Alt on Windows and pressing Shift, I'm going to duplicate and keep it nice straight in line by pressing Shift. Okay, I'm just going to quickly change the color of the second letter here. Let's go for sort of a nice light gray. And what we need to do, guys, we need to blend these two letters together. So I'm going to select both the letters and we have our blend tool situated here. Shortcut is the letter W. So if I just simply click on the first B and then click on the second B, I have now blended these together. But unfortunately, there are too many steps between the blend at the moment. And I want to decrease that. It's very, very simple. You go back to your blend tool. And if you just simply double click on the tool, this will bring up your blend options. Now you have three options to choose from, smooth color, specified steps or specified distance. I recommend you to use specified steps. At the moment, you can see there are 300 steps between the blend, way too many. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down to four steps, please. Okay, and there you can see it's coming together. So, with this selected, with the selection tool, what I'm gonna do now is right click and isolate the selected text group, like so. Then I'm gonna to come to our direct selection tool and move the first B on top of all the Bs that we have created. Fantastic. Now with this still selected, what I'm going to do now is use my free transform tool. And this is the tool that will allow us to create the flip effect. So if I just now hover over here to our uh, middle right point and click and drag to a point where I want to get the flip, as you can see, we are creating that flip effect. Fantastic. Now what I'm going to do now is Double click and come out of the isolation mode. And I'm just going to move this into center point like so. And we're going to use our alignment tools just to make sure it is aligned correctly. Fantastic. And let's create a nice little background to this. So we're going to use a nice rectangle tool to cover the whole background here. And we are going to apply a gradient to this. But let's build this properly. I'm just going to take the black color stop here, double click on it, and add sort of a darkerish gray, like so. And what I'd like to do is apply a radial gradient also. I'm just going to get my gradient tool out here, and I'm just going to try and extend that gradient out a little bit just to make it a little bit wider. Fantastic. And with that still selected, I'm going to right click on it and arrange and center the back like so and there you have it guys that is how you create the flip a tech flip text effect within adobe illustrator if you're interested in finding out more about blue sky graphics the courses that we offer us as tutors please don't hesitate visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk also take a look at our instagram there's some really cool work by our very talented students at um, blue sky graphics uk also, as well, guys, check out our website. There's some really cool uh, tutorials that are coming out on a weekly basis, ranging from many forms of graphic design um, and really interesting stuff for you to have a look and view at. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.